This video is going to be useful if you're someone who likes to do desk upgrades and enhancements, like playing around with how many screens you have, using a standing desk, making your cable management perfect with a panel, any of those things or similar. In watching this video, you'll learn that there are actually two models of iMac for each iMac Apple makes. If you buy the right one, you'll also be able to put the Mac on a stand and keep your desk looking minimal and clutter-free and adjust the height of the iMac. Before you buy an iMac, you should know that Apple always makes two versions of each iMac, and the second version is always semi-secret and sometimes hard to find on Apple's page. The first iMac is the one with the stand, the model everyone knows and loves. It's shown in the graphics, the promotions, and all marketing. They all come with a stand. Then, there's the second option, which is priced the same, but comes without the stand. This separate model iMac, which is available on every model, has a VESA mounting pattern on the back, meaning it has four holes in the back that let you mount your iMac however you prefer. These holes are great because ultimately, they let you be much more versatile in how you use your iMac. The stand is great for most people, the standard one, but with the four holes slash VESA mounting, you can slap on one of these or put your iMac on a monitor arm or rotate it. In my last few videos, I did a few things with iMacs, including desk setup videos, and I always wished I had known this prior to buying my 2019 model, which has been reliable for years. If you're stuck with not having watched this video and have a stand attached and want to do interesting things with your desk and other screens, there's not much you can do unfortunately to make it look perfect, but there are a few solutions. One of these adapters that I'll link in the description. I haven't bought one because it leaves a stand hanging that I personally do not like the appearance of. You can of course go with a nuclear route and cut the stand to make it a non-issue, which Jorge has done with a very cool solution, and I'll add that link in the description too, it's a pretty cool video. Overall, that's all I wanted to share because I wish I had personally known the VESA option existed before I bought mine. With a VESA option, it would have been great to put the iMac on a desk stand to have more clearance and be able to adjust the height with a monitor arm. Like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you all have a great one.